Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you on how to link the photos in your PowerPoint presentation slides so that every time you click the photo, it directly brings you to the slide that you want to be presented. So just like this. Okay, so let's get started. Hi there, I'm Jason, and you're watching... Jason! 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 First, let's open a new slide. So you decide on the design of your slide. You may use a simple design or a more creative one. For, but for this one, I want to use this design. Um, this one. I want this design because I like blue. Then let's add the pictures of the mystery boxes, which I downloaded from Google Pictures. So let's insert those mystery boxes. So here we have the first box. Let's insert the second box. Okay, the second box. And lastly, the third box. Okay, so we have here the three boxes. So let's try to send put them um in the center of the center of the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so after that, let's insert a text box here and add text. So insert text box. So let's add the text. Choose a mystery box. Okay, so let's change the font style. I want to use Arial Black. Let's also adjust the font size. So to make it um, bigger. Okay, so I want to um, change the color of the, of the words mystery box. So I want to change it to color yellow to give more emphasis. Just like this one. Okay, so I'll adjust the pictures. It's already good. So after that, uh, let's open a new slide. So click new slide, the blank one. And after that, let's copy the image of the first mystery box and then paste it. So let's copy the image of the first mystery box and then paste it. So I'll put it in the upper left side of the PowerPoint presentation. And let's try to add a shape also. So I will add a shape to make it more creative and then also emphasizing the text. So I will insert a shape. I want this one, so I will insert it here. Okay, I want to change the color. Okay, I want this one. Okay, I will send it backward. Make sure that it's at the center of the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so I will insert a text box. We'll type add text. So it is in this text box where you will be adding the text of your PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so after that, I will insert a circle shape. I will put it in the lower part of the presentation or the slide. I want to change it to color red. No outline. I will go to the preset to make it more creative. I will add the text back. Sorry, okay, back. Make it bold. 
Okay, so this will serve as our button whenever we want to go back to the first slide. So let's do the same processes for the second mystery box and for the third mystery box. Okay, so let's simply du duplicate the slide and let's copy the second mystery box. So let's paste it here and then let's cut this one. Let's um, put this one. Let's replace the first box with the second box. So I think I messed up. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just change them. Okay, let's duplicate the second uh, slide. Let's copy the third mystery box and then paste it. Okay, let's replace the box. Okay, now that we have already uh, finished or, or the three boxes have been placed already, so let's try to hyperlink them. Okay, so let's link everything. So let's go back to the first slide. Uh, click the first mystery box. All right, click. Click hyperlink. Click place in this document. So uh, choose the slide titles or the slide number of the presentation slide which you want to be presented after clicking the first mystery box. So I will click the slide number two and click OK. So let's do the same process processes for the second mystery box and for the third mystery box. Hyperlink. Um, I want the third slide. Click OK as well as the third mystery box. And click OK. So let's also hyperlink the buttons, the circular button, so that every time we will be clicking this, every time we click this, so it will bring us to the first slide. So click first slide. Let's do the same process for the second and the third mystery boxes. Okay. Okay. And now we're done. So let's try to click the pictures to see if it works. So F5. Okay, so let's try clicking the second mystery box. Okay, it works. How about the first mystery box? Okay, it works. How about the third mystery box? Okay, it also works. So that's it. It's helpful when creating an interactive PowerPoint presentation for your motivational game or slides in your virtual classes. So that's it. Thank you and more power.